Wait a minute, a friend. I remember this video. You uploaded this like four months ago. You said you wanted to AFK something heavily while playing leagues. So you spend 400 hours of AFK at Gorax because these guys are always aggressive. You don't have to run away every 10 minutes somewhere. This was the perfect monster. And I just wanted to do something silly like collect 250 shield love halves in the collection log, which I did, by the way. It's just such an odd item. Like, I, can you even like specifically grind for them? The answer is yes. And not only shield love halves, but also dragon spears, which at the end of that video, after spending over 400 hours, I only had 180 something spears. And I said, yeah, I could go for 250, but I'm not going to do so because leagues are over. I'm not making any more videos. And it's going to take me additional 160 hours just to get those, what is it, like 63 dragon spears to go all the way to 250, which is like the limit that you can have on dragon spears and shield of halves in the collection log. So I just didn't do it because that's a lot of time. When I started doing this initial one, I still had like 10 shield of halves in my collection log or something. I needed a gear that would sustain me all the time. I don't have to look at it. I don't have to repair it. I put on full justice here and you needed actual like tank armor with this because these guys, you cannot play against these. If you ever did any God Wars dungeon, you know that Gorax just hits you through prayer so it just doesn't work but after the leaks finished i kind of didn't want to leave dragon spears because i had like 187 or something and i'm like well it's kind of close but it's still like 160 hours away so how about we speed this up a little bit right but i didn't speed this up actually because my friend said wait why are you using blood amulet fury have you tried guthans instead i'm like what <laughs> guthans that's like okay yeah sustainability is amazing but like dps what well, you're gonna use guthans spear just like killing them all the time but he was so right on healing that, bro, it is impossible to die with Guthans at Gorax. And you can combine this with a cannon also. And cannon is actually majority of the DPS. If you look at this, I position my cannon like so perfectly that it double shots every single Gorax. So the other Gorax, you lure them away a little bit. So the only ones that spawn, they kind of spawn like from the side. They always spawn and they line up in this perfect line. And whenever the other one comes closer to you, he always get double shot with a cannon. Obviously, this is not as heavy AFK as as, you know 20 minutes and you click once but i'm not playing leagues anymore as well i can focus a little bit i no no problem also i'm so glad that i have elite diaries completed because of the 60 cannonball limit on my cannon instead of 30. i can't even imagine how life is with 30 but it's probably every one and a half hours you're supposed to get one dragon spear so looking at the spears missing there was still at least over 100 hour grind but there's no problem. Little by little, day by day, I was doing this thing and collecting more and more and more Dying Spears. But then I wanted to play a little bit with different setups. So I pull out the Sanguinesti staff because I tried it briefly and it actually sustains you pretty okay, but not fully. You will still need to eat a little bit. But what I noticed when I was wearing it is oh, I had like full Justician armor and stuff. The, the cannon is not hitting anything. It's just zero, 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 zero constantly. I'm like, that's not how I remember. I, with Guthans, I remember it was a double shotting. It was, just, it was such a good thing. And I was getting only 10,000 experience an hour in ranging from cannon itself. So then I swapped to Guthans again and suddenly I'm getting 30,000 experience an hour. I totally forgot about the cannon accuracy. It depends like on your main hand weapon, I think. And I think it was because my magic was minus two, which is actually a very high number considering the whole thing is plate armor. I have full justice here on me and it's minus two. I thought it was gonna be like minus 40 or something. It's basically, I think it's based on your main weapons attack style. So like the best thing would be to use a god sword. If you equip a god sword, even if you don't attack anyone because of its massive stats the cannon is going to be extremely accurate and it turns out piety also affects cannons so it could be that rigor and other things also affect it so i put the piety on and suddenly i'm like hold up yeah then i switch again back to guthans because the sanguinesti staff was just completely horrible even with like full atoms it was just not tanky enough then it, i actually needed to eat so guthans were the most perfect thing ever now you can also go sweat mode and get 450 kc an hour but bro that guy will still be 100 plus hours and that's why i chose not to do it that way so you could take like full void and take like a blowpipe and trying not to get into combat with the other Gordax since this is not a multi-area so you don't want to get attacked with melee because that, that's one of the downsides for, by using Guthans is that you will be in the melee distance the whole time and because of that only that one Gordax will be shot and not the other one so with the range that's not the case so you can just shoot from very far away as you can see the kills are insanely quick but I, I noticed even though 
it is quick but bro 70 hours plus you're gonna be doing this instead of like 120 but it's afk i decided not to do this and just like in my last video very briefly i'm gonna go through the drop table of god eggs because these guys are the weirdest bugged monsters since the very release so if you go on the drop table and wiki says there is one in one chance of rolling a gem table okay so there's like 100 chance every time you kill them this is where you get the gem drop table this is what iron man come to get the dragon spears and shield of halves but make sure you have ring of wealth equipped because if you don't have it the shield of half drop rate is going to be one in four thousand the dragon spear is going to be one in five point five thousand instead of only one in 325 and i'll admit that uh, there was one day where i was killing gorax the whole day and i was like what the hell bro these are just not dropping anything they're not dropping any spears and i forgot bro you don't have ring of wealth equipped what are you doing you just wasted the whole day okay so nice drop table all good okay where's the bug though because they actually have the drop table yep they, they, they have like steel plate legs iron halberds iron two handers but you will never ever see them i killed eighty thousand of them and i've never seen steel plate legs in my life and they don't comment it says one in 32 chance so what the hell is this the hell they have a herb drop table as well there is a 16 and 128 chance of rolling herb drop table there's also a coin table Metal arrow p plus plus ring of life they drops one in 128 chance i never seen any of them and never will because the only way to access the drop table is if you stall your character during the death animation of gorax so i explained this before so you can play with your kitten like when, when he's doing the death animation uh but that's like very artificial i would say you can actually sometimes make it naturally let's say if your cannon decays and there is a repair option and you click to repair as the Gorak dies, which literally happened, and I was, as I was repairing, it spawned some GP directly in my inventory, since Ring of Wealth actually picks up all the coins dropped. Like, wait, that's weird, I just saw 100 GP appear in my inventory. Oh, that was because I was repairing the cannon. Same happened when I killed a Gorak and unintentionally teleported to my house, and as I was doing the teleport animation, the Gorak died, and it also dropped, like, some weird item. I actually don't see... I think it was a bronze dagger. There was another time where I killed a Gorak and I clicked on a fairy ring just to escape this area. Again, completely unintentionally, and as I was doing the whole teleport fairy animation, again, Gorak dropped some coins. Now, obviously, this is going to be dependent on which world you're in, but I would say, on average, I've seen a person every six hours or so yes yeah, somebody would come in and because in fairy tale part one or two you have to kill like a gorak and crush the claw and then you know cure the queen uh not that common i would say what i was expecting way more people coming in you want to see a magic trick that is me outside the boundaries you're not even supposed to be here i looked at the map i was like what did i just do how did i get inside the wall because there's not a wall there's enter bank what is that cloud? I never seen in any of the quests that you had to go inside a cloud. Is there like, there's no way I ever remember clicking on a wall and going inside it and you can walk around a little bit. And it's very difficult to get out because you cannot go through the same thing that you, you have to like look which cloud it is. What a weird place, I gotta say. Very, very weird. So finally, after over 80,000 kills, I'd say close to 600 hours of doing these Gordex, I managed to collect my final 250th dragon spear it was right there on the floor and i knew that oh my god finally like this is such a you know i didn't want it to become like a sunk cost fallacy where you just keep doing it because you have already so much progress you have like 180 spears i gotta say i'm very relieved that it's finished i don't have to do these things again and it's another goal that has been successfully completed because it was way too big from the very beginning i knew i was like oh my god can i actually do this now the weirdest thing about looking at this 81,000 gorek loot is that big bones is the most valuable drops it has like tooth half of keys loop half of keys there's like 38,000 uncut sapphires how the hell is that what less than big bones what the hell was it like uh is that a varlamore update where like you can crush bones or something is that what made it go up in price i have no idea actually but very weird to see like diamonds and emeralds and rubies like way 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 behind but also these tooth half of keys and loop half of keys this is what adam and actually come to collect crystal keys like uh i think was it the ranger archaeologist also drops crystal keys 
or, or this is like another mob this is like an actually viable place to get them but i think it's not the best one still now just like most if not all monsters that drop big bones these guys also drop long bones and curved bones and i'm again so sad that the long bone limit is only 250 in the collection log because i hit that such a long time ago i got like 80 something thousand hill giants killed you know when i was trying to get those um dark totems for scotizo and they dropped so many bones i got like 700k construction experience when i exchanged them so unfortunately i don't have them right now because i periodically exchange them but 18 curved bones as well that thing is one in five thousand chance and i got like 42 in my collection log in all if you combine every single big bone monster that i killed that is crazy but bro if you go to like 250 it's not a grindable thing and again i have to remind you to bring a ring of wealth because at the very top it says that it drops nothing one in two chance 50 percent of the drops will be nothing and the uncut sapphire will be one in four chance instead of one in two chance so even if you're hunting for like loop half of keys or two half of keys you still have to bring a ring of wealth now sadly as if you look at the loot once again it shows that it's worth 122 million but you know goddamn well that i was not picking anything up i guess thank you for watching this video next one will not be loot from 600 hours so <laughs> thank you for watching bye bye